get this all here back for another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a 2022 forecast for all Capricorns. So if you are a Capricorn or this could be in other areas of your chart, even if you are not the sign and it's not within your element at all, there still could be some messages that may apply to you. So stay tuned if you feel guided to. Um, also, if you would like to contact me, book private readings, send donations, gifts, or anything of the sort, everything is going to be listed in the description box below. Please keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes only and is not at all to substitute for any legal, financial, medical, or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional. Free will is a way to all in control of our own destinies in the end. So again, this is just going to be a 2022 forecast, predictions, and advice, just whatever spirit wants to reveal or make important for you to focus on for 2022 at this time. And also, I do have a personalized version of this reading on my Etsy shop, and I'm also doing discounted rates. So if you want the discounted rate, you would have to pay through Cash App or PayPal, and I will send those links if you are interested. And also make sure you do contact me um, before sending a payment for the discounted rate, because the discounted rate is only for a limited time and only a few are available. So let's go ahead and get started. And also, I forgot to mention that I will be pulling some cards throughout towards the end of the video. Um, and also, you will get a yearly overall 2022 affirmation that's going to highlight your year. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we have Ego. Okay, also, I forgot, this fell on the floor somehow, but it's a part of the pile. It is, it was on the top of um, the pile, but um, I will look at this towards the end. So, the ego refers to the devil. Um, and what the devil represents is sometimes being chained down, being trapped, um substance abuse possibly does not have to be it's just one of the general meanings um take it if it resonates leave it if it doesn't um the devil is kind of like shadow work in a sense um it can represent deception and just like it says on the card being focused or overly focused on materialistic things um, yeah, so a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things and negative or fear-based thoughts. So with the devil card here, I don't know why, but spirit is saying less is more. And I feel like, I think I said that in the air signs, one of the air signs reading as well. Um, so if you feel guided to visit that video, um, check it out. Um, so yeah, less is more. So I feel like Spirit is saying you do not have to go all out of your way to make something great. And also the devil represents codependency. So um, that could be what the less is more is talking about as well. And it's just a need to do things in moderation. Um and like letting go of bad habits. And you can start that now. Um, you do not have to wait until next year. You can always start try to start now. So let's see. Eight of water, eight of cups here. And eight of cups symbolizes withdrawal, moving on, walking away from something. Um, and I feel like with the devil and the eight of cups combined, Capricorns, you are going to be in a position in 2022 where you are finally letting go of something that holds you back that stunts your growth in some way um and again that could be these bad habits we're talking about as well um even realizing that just something isn't for you something isn't good for you um is what i feel so it could be a person, could be a thing, could be a substance, could be like even binge watching a TV show even. Um, 
And trust me, that can be a semi bad habit because I know people who get like a, a thousand percent invested into TV shows to the point where they don't want to do anything else. So that can be a bad habit. Um, I mean, there could always be worse habits, but yeah. And that's just an example. And some of you could have water in your chart as well. You don't have to, uh, but it could also be the energy that or the element you're needing to work with at this time or throughout 2022. So page of fire, which is page of, I wanted to say swords. I don't know why. Clearly that is wands. Um, anyway, but maybe you guys are dealing with an air sign or something. I don't know, but <clears throat> page of fire so the pages are messengers they're all messengers they're all a little bit um curious they're smart in their own ways but they sometimes they just act um unethically sometimes but with the page of fire it is saying that you guys are going to be very confident in 2022 or there is a need to be confident in your abilities, in your talents, in your creativity. Um, and just trusting that your personality alone, personality alone, the way that it is, is marketable and that you can achieve anything with just being who you are in 2022. And also this is a card that brings exciting news. Um, and yeah, so news of exciting, of, a, of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. And then we have, wow, walk away. So we've talked about that with the eight of cups. So definitely walking away from, like I said, something that is not you. Um, so leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So I feel like the devil here is setting the tone for your whole year next year and this is just about you letting go of something walking away from something that is toxic um and just keeping keeping on keep moving forward increase and once you are doing that you're going to see a lot of things start to come together you're going to see abundance you're going to see um, people being inter more interested in your craft just because sometimes even though sometimes you can have people in your life that hold you back and they're not necessarily trying to but you're allowing somehow for their energy to keep you stuck so um but yeah there is an increase coming in with walking away from this person this situation or again these bad habits um and i noticed recently that this card I believe these are like crystals or gemstones. I was looking at it recently and noticed that sometimes I really don't pay attention to a lot of things in the cards, but whenever I do that, it's a sign for something. So um, I just seeing you guys setting your intentions and kind of following through with walking away. Whereas in the past, you may have kind of been tempted to go back to something or someone but I feel like 2022, you're going to work on, again, following through and not, you know, not looking back. Receiving. Every day, it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. So this is about you um, needing to allow spirit to help you, um, give you or help you nudge you in the right direction by using your own inner guidance and receiving is about allowing yourself to receive this increase. You're not going to get this increase again, keeping certain things and people in your life in 2022 It's going to God is, or the universe, they're going to intentionally keep the rewards away from you because of the people or the situations or the things that are involved in your life again they're keeping you stuck and they're going to hold you back and again it may be people that might want to take from you or um not share with you um on that journey so again 
For some of you, it is about letting a specific thing or a person go. Um, to receive new energy and again, to just be blessed in general. Because for some of you, you are a very giving person. So, again, this devil energy here or the person or situation you need to walk away from, somehow it is going to drain you and take you away from what is meant for you and what has a lot of opportunities for you. So friendship in union. Mending friendships in 2022. I feel like hearing from people that maybe you have already moved on from and you're again, there's going to be temptation um, for you to go back to a friendship that maybe you kind of need to leave the door closed on or a relationship in the romantic sense or some type of partnership that for some of you, you are meant to move on from what caused the ending in this connection in 2022 and for others of you take it as it resonates this is your sign to actually mend that uh friendship or relationship or whatever it is um for some of you this walking away isn't about a person it's about it could even be a job or uh maybe an idea of something or per a perception so um but yeah for a good many of you this some of you there. If it's a person, you are meant to mend it. But you'll know that when you get, when you cross the bridge, okay? So, gentleness. Archangel Sandalphon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So, this is just about being gentle towards yourself, not just others, but yourself mostly. Um, and also, I feel like this is about respecting yourself as well. Not allowing to let anyone get over you in 2022. And some of you may be being hard on yourself about something. Could be about the walking away here. Um, but Spirit is saying that your choice is valid. So don't be uh, too tough on yourself when it comes to that. And don't be guilt feel Don't. You don't have to feel guilty about it. Spiritual teacher. Okay, you heal with your class of sessions and seminars. So I feel like you're going to be somehow, and it may not even be literally classes or anything. You could just be teaching people around you, um, just telling them your beliefs and what you feel to be spiritually true. And then they may can apply it to their life if they feel called to. Um but I do feel like you're going to heal a lot of people that way in 2022. Even if you do not professionally do this, you don't have to. Um, I professionally do spiritual teaching, obviously, but um, I still have people in my life where personal, I'm like the expert to them. I'm not, and I don't feel like I'm like perfect or an expert in the whole realm but when it comes to certain people in my family and my friend groups they kind of rely on me to give them answers regarding like spiritual um you know just healing and meditation and even like I wouldn't say spell work because I I don't manipulate energy but um not in a bad way anyway I guess you could call me a white witch I'm I don't I really don't use the term witch, but I'm getting more okay with it now. Um, I used to think, I didn't think it was a bad word, but I used to um, not, I don't know. I just didn't like being associated with that word for a while, but I, I'm pretty much over that. Um, and so, yeah, but that threw me off my point or I was getting to a point when I was saying that, but um but yeah, and I feel like you're going to be going through a lot of spiritual lessons yourself. And I feel like spirit is wanting you to receive that as guidance to give to others. Or again, just more lessons to learn and experiences to put on your resume, so to speak. Spirit says, I don't know why, but that's what they say. Um, 
surrender to the divine. So yeah, spiritual teacher, divine. The divine is very important for you in 2022. So make the best of it and take advantage of it is what spirit is saying. Uh, again, allow the divine to help you. Um, First quarter moon in Sagittarius. All right, so I paused that really quickly just because I thought I heard. I don't know. I go through moments where I hear stuff and it's just literally just me hearing it. But I'm by a window. So again, if something gets too loud or somebody's coming through it with music or anything like that, um, you may see jump cuts or if I hear noise or something like that, you're going to see a jump cut. Or sometimes I pause to meditate on certain messages and then, yeah. So just want to let you guys know that. But anyway, so believe in your good luck. First quarter moon in Sagittarius. So like I said, with all the signs and the elements, you do not have to be in those elements or those signs for um, it to resonate. It could just be you need to work with that energy at this time or again, other areas of your chart or maybe somebody that you could be thinking about is popping up. But believe in your good luck. I'm hearing believe that spirit or believe that the divine has your back. Believe that they don't want to harm you. So 2022, you are being asked to visualize good luck happening to you. Good things, good outcomes. And that is what you are going to get. For the most part. So um, out of the mess comes elegant order 20. So it's funny that this is the yin and yang um, sign here because I was paying. I didn't say it. But I was paying attention to it, looking at it very closely when this card came up for you all. So um, to me, that is a sign of working with divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Um, just tapping into that field in balancing those areas. Um, so that's going to be very important for you even now, but also 2022, very important. Um, and then we have, again, out of the mess comes elegant order and we have that sign there. So in, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, out of the mess comes elegant order. So what that means is pretty much like when you feel like something is not going your way, things are out of order, things are unorganized, your priorities have kind of gotten mixed up somehow, um, somehow that is going to give you different and better ideas that mess is going to cause for a light bulb to go off and you're going to come up with something even better than what was planned so be grateful for disasters i don't want to say disasters i said it already but um being grateful for those moments of i guess um, what is the word? Being grateful for those moments of upheaval, I guess you could say, or like those tower moments even, because again, they cause for you to come up with new energy, new ideas, something that's going to pay off. <clears throat> Okay, so reconsider a commitment. You have the right to change your mind and choice. So Spirit is wanting you to know that in 2022, you have the choice to change your circumstances if you don't like it. You have a choice in what it is that you really want to do, whether it's regarding your job, whether it's something you're trying to manifest in your love life. Um, even if you are, you know, wanting to get a cat or you want to choose between a cat or a dog spirit says it is your choice overall um and this is pretty much saying that 2022 a lot of things are going to be in your court the ball is going to be in your court meaning that a lot of decision making kind of relies on you to make the decision so for example if this could be your love life here we are talking about you know a connection that has the potential to grow or stay stuck because of choices that you have made okay so just remember not to react on impulse and um 
just to make the choice that you feel is best for you in that timing. And with the purple here, it's saying to follow your intuition and inner divine guidance when it comes to making those decisions in 2022. So surrender to the natural world. Whenever I see this, to me, this is about anything natural um, or just regarding nature. So just, you know, being proud of your natural beauty um natural remedies maybe you could use as well next year now i talked a little bit about this in another sign but i cannot remember which one at this point but take a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty in the scc here so this is just about you retreating spending time in nature maybe taking a hike or just doing something that's refreshing to kind of help you um, even make choices, but yeah, and help you stay grounded as well. Synchronicities. Yeah. So the divine is definitely on your side in 2022. Things are going to be a lot more harmonized. Um, again, you receiving clear signs about what choices to make. Um, and just a deeper sense of knowing in 2022 as well. We have heal. You're going through a healing process, maybe even now, but I feel like 2022, you're going to be in the energy of being completely healed. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you won't have your moments of going back to whatever it is or kind of thinking back to whatever it is that kind of caused you to not be in healing energy in the first place but overall you're going to be healed there's not going to be much trauma you're going to know how to cope with it in 2022 so um, anything that you may be going through, you may go through some things in 2022, it's going to cause a, a time of reflection and it's going to make you have to get back into another healing process. But um, you have a lot of options again, and you're going to, again, know how to cope better with certain things in 2022 so wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal especially those unseen give yourself the time space whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness so and that's one of my favorite cards by the way that is the self-care um oracle deck by janet Shu. rejection so maybe you are going to be healing from some type of rejection maybe not getting a job maybe a relationship not going the way that you want it to go um or maybe you're just feeling rejected or even if you're not actually getting rejected but this is just telling you that it is for your protection um and i know people are probably going to get tired of hearing that in general or even hearing me say it but rejection is protection and as you can see it's the number 13 on here which um the number three and one equal to four which is protection i don't know if the creator did this intentionally on this deck but i'm just now noticing that so on that card in mountain temporary obstacles is what i feel here but again it's not because you weren't capable it's not because you didn't deserve it it's because it wasn't something meant for you it wasn't something that could help you succeed or excel in something. So mountain, know that you, wow, it says protected as well. So know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So also using discernment as well. But like I said, a lot of this is for your own protection, for your own highest good. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get to the extra cards here and I'm going to start with the cue cards. And usually for this particular, these Zodiac sign videos, I already have them out of the box, but I've been trying to, I've been, okay, wow. 
a lot of cards falling out. But I've been trying to kind of keep everything uh, just a tad bit more organized because of, like I said in a previous video or several videos by now, is that I really um, just know that I have nieces and nephews, um, three of them being little ones. And like I said, they go through phases where they just uh, get bored or get captivated by my oracle deck boxes or my cards in general and they go crazy. I end up getting missing cards. Cards may end up becoming damaged and then uh, like, yeah. And although those are my babies, my cards are my babies too. So, yeah. But anyway, so we're doing the cue cards. All right, pause because there was a big truck coming through and I was shuffling while waiting on that to come through. So, okay. And there's another one. There is, this is a small town, so there really is no... Um, no traffic for the most part not and this is like a funeral or something coming through there really isn't a lot of traffic around this area um but it's close to the road so when there is something coming through you probably could hear it um okay so capcorn dead end and that's one of the ones that fell on the floor because <laughs> a lot of them fell on the floor while i was shuffling and a lot but obviously i put them back in because it was too many so dead end but like i said before this is not like i said temporary obstacles and you may feel like this is what it is dead end means you're going nowhere but i feel like again that's what it's going to feel like to you in those moments but these are obstacles that you are able to change and move around to um to your liking to your benefit and that just could mean also a pause in something as well it's taking a step back from something persevere so yeah that's the same thing obstacles and persevering is just you, again, finding a way to jump over those things and not letting them stop you. Okay. Bull's eye hitting the nail on the head. So this could be in regards to some type of... Uh, it's a target that you're going to hit next year. So some type of goal I feel like you're going to reach. And this card fell on the floor and I'm going to get it. I think it's the love card from this deck. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, The love card. So maybe it could be within your love life that you get this, uh, that this goal is reached. Um, Yeah. So, now the eye candy oracle from V from V Love and Crystals. Recuperation, time for resting, healing um, wounds, and relaxing. I'm here in staycation. Risk, taking a risk in 2022. Um... Hmm. 
and support having a support system to help you heal to um help you gain opportunities and to help you move obstacles as well again that is the eye candy oracle by v from the love and crystals and next we have the queen of the moon oracle by stacy demarco all of these decks will be listed down below by the way that i'm using in this video um, I don't have links aside from these decks. I have put links beside them so you can find them. Um, and also the cue cards, which are these little small cards here that I was using. Um, it's a $10 deck. Well, it was $10 when I got it. I just saw that it recently went up to $14. So I think that that was the um, regular price. And I got it on sales price or for Prime. So I forgot to mention that I do have a Prime account. So it might have been just that price because of that reason in the first place. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. But $14 is still a good deal. Um, there will be an affiliate link listed by that particular deck. In the description box, affiliate means that if you were to purchase that item through my link, you would possibly help me to earn a small commission, very small commission, no extra cost to you um, that will just help me uh, with my channel, support me in buying more decks, and just overall energy exchange. You're not obligated to, but I truly appreciate it in advance if you decide to. Self-love. So you are on a journey to self-love, self-healing. Um... Just a journey that really involves you loving yourself and not, yes, involving people in that self-love journey, but knowing that you can get through it by yourself, I feel. You don't always necessarily need people for that. Like, for example, therapists or anything like that. Some people do need that, but a lot of the times you can really heal and cope with things on your own. But if you do need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. So action, taking action in 2022, especially, I don't know why, but I'm hearing, especially when it comes to your love life. Um, but yeah, just taking action. I'm hearing setting boundaries as well in 2022. And again, this is just about changing something if you don't like it, taking that action the action steps that you are guided to take um, in those circumstances. So that is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And now Fortune Cookie Oracle. And then this little card over there. And this is also by V from V Love and Crystals. They are on sale pretty often. I've noticed she has sales. Um... So go check it out. She has now 19 decks in her collection that she has uh, created with her husband and her daughter. Um, that's a lot of decks. Um, but she is one of the inspirations or, yeah, inspirations that inspired me to go ahead and create decks myself. I wanted to before, but it was like, I, I don't know. I couldn't stick with it for whatever reason, but I now have made a total of um, three or four decks now. I think it's about five. One I will completely redo, and there is three in the making, or not in the making, but they're finished. I'm just trying to get them approved for selling on the site and then um, try to get my own stock in. But yeah, anyways, that was just me babbling while I shuffle cards, so don't mind me. Um, you could always skip ahead, but I appreciate those of you that stuck around to hear me go on and on about cards or just things in general. Uh, 
Okay, so trust is mutual. Trusting, I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is about your relationship with the divine more than it is with other people, people, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, there was some noise going on, but, um, but yeah, I feel like, again, your connection with the divine, you really need to trust that they are, they know what they're doing and they're not going to hurt you. The universe says, the divine says, I trust you and now I need for you to trust me type of thing. Now, why would the divine need you to know that they trust you? I don't know. That's just the way that I was <laughs> feeling called to say it, but um, let's see blessing in disguise so this is uh, a card i'm not sure if it's included still in this deck when if you buy it uh but it's a card where you can put your own channel message on the fortune cookie cards it has the back and everything and mine was blessing in disguise um and i took a permanent marker permanent buck marker and that's what i felt from spirit to put on there so blessing in disguise Everything happens for a reason in general, but more so for you guys in 2022, there are reasons in behind everything happening. Again, a blessing in the skies when things become unorganized. I was not trying to rhyme and I'm still doing it. Um, Yeah, I was not trying to do that. Let's see, where is this card again? Like I said, out of the mess comes elegant order so blessings in disguise and your luck will change believe in your good luck luck is on your side in 2022 for most of you, luck is going to change for the better. And again, sometimes this is going to be from something that kind of that you in the moment, you're going to feel like it fell apart. But in reality, it's not really falling apart is providing a clear pathway for you to come up with something better, something more beneficial. Okay, so now we get to this message here and then we'll get to your affirmation. So opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me in my evolution. I am not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges during along my journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them. Um... Yeah, so opportunities for growth. And this is just another way of pretty much saying to affirm that it's happening for me, not to me. Um, and that again, I feel like this is also the base of the devil in the... The devil... And I don't know why, it's something else I want to say, but the devil in this card well this is what i want to say i'm losing my mind okay the devil and this message here is the base of your is the base of your reading and the base of your 2022 year is going to mark your whole year because it's going to be significant um and significant to your soul's growth personal growth any type of growth in 2022 for you is Again, this out of the mess comes elegant order and then the devil card here, ego. So, yeah. And now we get to the affirmation and this affirmation comes from the universe has your back. 
card deck by Gabrielle Bernstein. And again, this is just your overall highlighted affirmation. You can screenshot this or pause and write it down if you would like, if you feel guided to. So let's see. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that we're 40 minutes in. All right, so there's your affirmation. Ooh, I love the look of that card. Um, and I've seen it before. I just don't remember what it says, but that's one of the cards that don't come up often um, for because number one, I don't use the deck as often as I probably should. But um, so I don't know why I'm feeling guided. I already told you the deck, but I feel like this deck may be a spirit a, ugh, significantly important for you in 2022, like even just affirmations in general for Capricorns here. So maybe you guys are needed to invest in this deck and this deck is not expensive at all. It is the universe has your back, uh, Gabrielle Burns by Gabrielle Bernstein and it's affirmations. Um, you should be able to find it on Amazon, um, Hay House and I don't know about book depository or anything else like that because I I typically only shop at a few places for my decks online or just in general. Um, and I've never shopped at Book Depository, but I have seen it and heard about it. But again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find that. Um, but yeah, so this card says, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again to choose love. So I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again to choose love. So that is your affirmation that is going to highlight your year in 2022. And that is your 2022, uh, Jesus, your 2022 forecast. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys can take something from this reading. Um, if you like the reading, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you feel like it resonated even now, um, it does not have to necessarily resonate in 2022 because energy is kind of tricky so even though I am trying to make it fit for that year some of this could really make sense now and you can start working on it now you don't have to wait to 2022 to start you know making changes or even taking the advice um, but do let me know how you felt about the reading um, any other suggestions you have for the channel and yeah, again, if you want to book a private reading, contact me, follow me on Instagram, send gifts, donations, anything of the sort. Everything is listed down below. And don't forget that I do have a personalized version of this reading. You will get actually the same decks I will be using here um, on the personalized version, but you, I'm going to multiply the cards. So for example, instead of just one certain decks I'll feel called to pull more than one card from because all of these most of these I pulled one from but um but anyway so I wish you guys love and light happiness success I hope we can connect again in the next one and take care stay safe